Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. Today, we are going to the Warrens. Mainly because I don't really like the rewards of any other place here. The only other place I even considered going was to do this, but I'm not doing 100% room battles on something I have never been in with a group that I don't think's quite ready yet. So, you know, there's that. So we're going to be going with the killers here. Got all our trinkets set up beforehand. Dima, I did a little bit of a change. I got rid of tracking shot because it's not my favorite thing in the world. And gave him point blank shot. So at least now he's got some damage behind him. And this should be fun considering he I think he has the highest speed of anybody here. Yes he does. I'm also going with a marking kind of group here. Because with the bounty hunter and a mark... And pistol shots, which I think takes advantage of the mark. You know, we got a decent marking group. Not the best, but a decent one. So, let's get going. It's going to be a medium dungeon, so we're going to need quite a bit of food. This is the Warrens, though, so I'm going to take a few medicinal herbs. Might not need as much food because of that. Take some of those. Take a few keys. I think there's a holy water event or two I might need here. And since we're going to be exploring pretty much the whole of the entire dungeon, we need all the torches we can really afford here. Gonna need some anti-venom and some bandages. And I think that's about all that we're gonna need. Oh hell, why not just take the last two food as well. So now I think we've overburdened completely, but that's what we're gonna be doing. Pretty sure I didn't. Do the only time I've ever seen that is when I accidentally forgot to bring torches, and I'm pretty sure I did not forget to bring torches. <laughs> to prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Okay, so explore 90% of the rooms means we got to go to at least there and then move backwards. Not a, the greatest, you know, start ever. And by the way, yes, I've upgraded the skins a little bit. I like my new highwayman look. How in the hell do I get this kind of luck so often? <laughs> hey, lucky sevens or something, right? I mean, that's totally what that means. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Get back. Oh, that's not a good start to a long dungeon. Or medium dungeon, I should say. It seems like it's going to be long, but I don't know if it actually will be. Well, this... I uh, can't do that. Well, you can stun him, at least, hopefully. Of course, 25% chance. Should have known it wouldn't work. Another one falls. I meant 25% chance for them to resist it, by the way, not like pure 25% chance. This could end up doing more harm than good, but I, why not? Well, uh, it well, at least mitigated a little bit, I guess. Not really, but try it again. Not exactly what I wanted you to do, but it will work. And this should put it out of its misery. Be gone, fiend. I'll return with uh, Cuthbert's banner and Belaine's crossbow so as to honor them with the proper burial. I'll leave what's left of thrice damned Mazir and his trinkets to the swine folk. Perhaps they'll build a memorial he rightly deserves. Oh, that doesn't sound like things went really well. <laughs> sound like the whole party died. But what do I know? Damn it, malware bites. Don't do that. Ah. Alright. So that's one. One battle down. Let's try and keep it so we don't all die and get, you know, ambushed this time. That'd be nice. No more ambushes in Radiant Night. Please. Okay, we got ourselves uh, pretty clear, free and clear if we go to the right. We need to go to the right anyway, so why not do that? 
Make sure we don't get into the trap. Okay. I really don't want Demar to die. I run him to get to the last mission in Darkest Dungeon for that trophy. I looked ahead for the trophies, so don't blame me now. Because I'm interested in stuff like that. Trophies are achievements, I guess. It's in this version. It's not trophies. Well, let's keep on going. That contains loot. Awesome. A fortune waiting to be spent. And eaten. <laughs> Free heals, man. I just... How can you be hungry again? I don't understand. Anything in here? What's in here, then? A blockage, a curio, and a battle. We don't have to go that way, so we're not going to go that way. And waste a shovel. We don't really need to go that way. It's not room battles, it's just plain rooms. That's what I like. Because that way I can skip some battles, and there's a battle in here now. <laughs> the light. The promise of safety. That works. Executed with impunity. Ah. They have no dodge whatsoever. <laughs> but yeah, sure. Why not do that? Back to the pit. Oh, uh, that's not optimal, to put it nicely. Not in the least. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. I was actually kind of hoping that wouldn't kill it, so then a bounty hunter could get a chance to kill it, but yeah, no such luck. <laughs> now we can start going up into the rest of the of the dungeon. Oh god, I think someone's obsessed with food here. That's not good. Yep. Wait, no. Wait. Alcohol? What? How is that alcoholic? <laughs> it's a bunch of corpses. I could maybe get if it was like the... Like the... The, the, the alcohol, like the keg. I can understand that a little bit, but not that. <laughs> What in the hell are you doing, man? In radiance, may we find victory. Yes, finally. Annihilated. <laughs> oh, that feels so good. Now you that's a good chance of stunning it, and I want you to do so. That works fantastically. That did not work so fantastically, to be fair. That thing's got all the dodge, it has to go. Problem is, his collect bounty does not go very far, so if I was going to do that, I'd want to put it on this just to ensure the kill. Or I could put the mark on it and then use... Yeah, I think that'd be the better idea. Because this thing's already stunned, the drummer. Ah! At least you didn't get a disease that I see. Just a little blood, you'll be fine. Now kill it. Decimated. That's manageable so far. This will kill it. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Five. Oh, she needs it more. And at this point, it's wow, you do a lot of damage with that. Huh. That's done. 
He's over. Um, yeah. Just make him watch everything he knows. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Just make him see everything he's ever, you know, known to be just crushed before his eyes. I don't know. 80%, 100%, 90%. Gotta go with the 100. I just don't see a good reason not to go with the 100. He does still have the highest speed. Yes, he does. Okay, good. That works out great. Don't burn the books. That'd be bad. I think you can burn the... the, the uh, what do you call them? The... Ah, oh, crap. What were those called? The... Not books, but the, the... What do you call the other things? Like paper on the ground. Pretty, I don't want to call them Torahs. But, I mean, I think the Torah is a... What are, the scroll? That's the one. I'm, d I'm just saying. I think see, I think you can burn the scrolls. It doesn't really. It's not a bad thing. But if you burn the books, I'm pretty sure it is a bad thing. What do we got in the other rooms? Hey, might as well go this way. Once we, you know, well, actually, yeah, might as well go that way just to be sure. We cleared it. Yeah, we've already gotten everything in this hallway. Now, I know that that does something with the holy water. I just don't remember what it was. Okay, so that's just loot with the holy water. We're going to ignore that, because I want to save that for something that might be a bit more useful with the holy water. Not exactly great, but this will be overkills all hell. As the fiend falls... Faint hope blossoms. Man, you just love giving that thing turns right off the bat, don't you? It does have eight speed, so I guess I can kind of see where it's coming from, but still, damn. That thing needs to die, and it has too much dodge. <laughs> he just basically does the same thing to him. Okay, things are starting to hurt quite a bit. I'm not going to lie here, this kind of sucks. But that thing needs to not have any more turns. Like, badly. Works pretty well. Now, if she can't finish this job, Dama will. Well, I guess the mod gets to clean up. It's <laughs> the reason I marked it. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. That's not really good enough, but that's better than nothing. Press disadvantage. Give them no quarter. Oh, ho. oh, that sucks so bad. Okay, so you're really going balls out here. I don't know how a... Well, I guess a pig doesn't have to bleed, but still, it's like kind of annoying when it doesn't bleed. That thing has a 25% stun. Uh, you know what, that would work pretty well. You are kind of needing to heal now. Uh, I mean, it, when it comes to number one, you gotta look out for number one, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> you just following the laws of the land. And this should do it. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Hmm. Uh, heirloom chest. How many keys did I bring? I brought two, so I can use one. 
Well, that... <laughs> well, that's fine, I guess. Just running out of inventory slots. Don't burn the books. God, I remember the one time I burned the books. I, I regretted such an action. I think it takes a character up to 100 stress, or gives you 100 stress. I don't remember which one, but I remember somebody was 100 stress at the end of it. And it was not fun. <laughs> oh, those learning experiences before I looked up any of the curios. It was terrible. And I decided I wasn't going to intentionally handicap my own runs by not looking at stuff up then and there. That was the reason. Oh, yes. Now burning those things, the scrolls, I think you can do. I just don't remember why you'd want to do that. And yes, I realize I have firewood. What do we got in these secret rooms? No secret rooms. Ah, well. <laughs> Doesn't really matter. Down or left. So I guess we'll go down for now. So we can make our way back up. That makes sense, right? Okay, we did have the these scouted out. Wealth beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Fantastic. So I didn't actually set up the thing I wanted to set up, but you know, this could actually work. It didn't as well as I'd wanted it to, but it could have. Get over here. That guy's dead next turn. Assuming he doesn't just stun our bounty hunter. Okay. That works great. Yes! Feels so good when you actually manage to get the same, like, when you manage to get the... I'm actually not gonna finish him because I want my bounty hunter to get the finishing blow to try and take some of that stress off. Try and take advantage of collect bounty. Now I think about it, might have been a mistake, but we're gonna do it anyway. Destroyed. Plus it gets a bonus against human. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. I don't care as long as it's a win. That's all I care about. Get me and my boys and girls home. Alive. <laughs> well, I think now's as good as time as any to use the old firewood. Wouldn't you say? I mean, we got... What, like one more room left? Yeah. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. An uneasy companionship. We don't really need the feast, but it would get rid of the stress. And we have enough for one more hungry random event, so that should be fine. Probably should have used this a bit earlier so I could have taken advantage of the party surprise, but I didn't. What do you got? This is how we do it? Not bad, but you're not exactly my main damage dealer. Scout ahead, don't really need that. Sharpen spear. Or what do you got? You got clean guns. Hey, we can sharpen spirit and clean the guns. Seems like a good idea. And then from here, I'd rather not abandon hope. Because I don't really want to give anybody else the stress, but... It's about the only other option, but I'm not going to do it. is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, you deserve a, a bandage for that. You, not so much. It's just blood, you bounty hunter. You should be used to it. Alright. As the light gains purchase, Spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. 
You know what? No, I'm gonna go do the other battle and just go see what's up there because we already came this far, damn it. We're gonna clear the whole thing. I love that in for a penny, in for a handsome reward for a task well performed. The in for the penny, in for the pound logical fallacy I got going on here. And it is a fallacy, make no mistake on that. So here we go. This is actually just about the best lineup I could have asked for, just because this does so much damage, this could actually outright kill the bruiser. Eradicated. <laughs> oh, I love that. Goodbye. Barely. <laughs> but goodbye nonetheless. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? No, that was no trick of the light. We are done. The twisting tunnels seem a little less impossible. Okay, well that's some progress. Valence got syphilis. Do I even want to ask how you get syphilis from a bunch of pigs? I guess if you ask a feminist, you'd get your answer. Anyway, we're gonna keep on going after that little jab. And, uh, I think we can actually upgrade our- A fever of willful determination sweeps through the barracks. That's nice. But I make an effort to try not to get to 100 stress in the first place. But, uh, yeah, that's- that's great, I guess. So, who was our diseased? It was Valence. Valence does need to get that treated. I, I can't have her running around with syphilis. I, I just cannot do that. All right, I was like, "What in the hell is that?" I guess that could be used as a as a turtle thing, but get rid of syphilis. Can't have one of our best with syphilis running around and spreading it all over the place. Not the guild, Barak, the blacksmith. I have enough for armor smithing finally. And this say goodbye to more money folks because I like having people with up to date gear before we go into level 3 dungeons. And I think that's a worthy investment. In the end, every plan relies upon a strong arm and tempered steel. Yeah, basic. Excuse me, basically. So how much does this up? It goes from five, gives you five more dodge and seven more HP for him. Excuse me. Well, I mean, I think now I could, in theory, hey, I can get experienced recruits. Provides a chance of higher level recruits appearing in the stagecoach. So that doesn't mean that you actually get them. That just means you have a better chance at it. Well, you know, I, I mean. Great heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. I mean, why not, right? I mean, <laughs> I don't see a reason why you'd go, No! I don't want higher level th people coming in, so I want, to, I don't know. Maybe there is. I just can't think of one. And the other ones require level 3 on everything else. Right. Fast healer's terrible. No, let's not use him. How about Bolain? Torn rotator, fingophobia. No. Off guard is absolutely terrible. How about you? I don't really use Hellions in the... Well, actually, I do kind of use Hellions in the Cove, but still. Slow draw. Man, you people are slow on the draw today. That's not great, but I can deal with it. And that's not very good. <laughs> What's our, what our resident antiquarian here? Night blindness, which is not a bad thing for me, and thick blooded, which could be fine, but you don't have nervous stab. Well, that sucks. Get down. I've never understood the purpose of that because I mean, you should be using either protect me, which I might add you do have, and I like the only things I ever use on these on antiquarians are either protect me or nervous stab. That's why I don't usually use them. They are really good for getting money though. I will give them that. 
I just haven't really utilized them very well. Actually, at all. I don't think I've used any. Because, I mean, when you look at their their combat skills, they're just, they're, they're just not good. <laughs> they're not meant for combat. So, now that we can... How much does that upgrade? How much is that, by the way? It's another 1,800. Hmm. But, you know, keeping people alive is an investment. I realize that. And for my next upgrade, 32 deeds. Oh, man. Let's see where we're going next. Uh, no. Let's not go for an uncommon thing in a, in a, in a veteran dungeon. Um, no, let's... Well, oh my goodness, that's a lot of deeds. Uh, sacred scroll. Minus 10% stress. Oh, that speed is horrible. And the stun skill is so bad. You know, I might actually go for that, just because I do like the quick draw charm. But, I don't know if I... I mean, that's basically like trying to... It's like, spe like specializing in the old point-blank shot. Boom! But after that, you're you're pretty much good, you're yawn empty <laughs> as far as speed goes. Ten percent accuracy, minus two percent dodge, forty percent move and stun, but less damage. That's not bad. What well, I want is those deeds, man. But I'm not doing a hun I'm not doing a long one hundred percent room battle for my first ever veteran dungeon. Okay, no, I'm not gonna do that. I would like a medium dungeon. Not long, not short. I'd like a medium... Oh, there's that. <laughs> I, could, I could try and do this. 90% of rooms in the cove. What would I even... Who would I have even go there? I could have Cavalier go, maybe. And uh, do we, we don't have any Plague Doctors. I mean, she could play the role of Plague Doctor, I guess. I mean... She could do that, and then we would need, we don't have a level 3, we don't have a level 3 occultist. <laughs> now I could send Hodin there, maybe, and then, what, like, I don't really want to send him. Percy, he's a cove explorer, he's also very good in the Warrens and the Weld. And, but he has, does have quick draw and all that. But that stress of finger phobia, I'm going to have to send him out to the... I can't have that on my big damage dealers. Plucknet, maybe? I mean, he fits there pretty well, and except they don't really bleed, don't really work all that well in the cove. That's the only problem here. And you can't use the poison darts if you're in the second position. I know you're not going to go there. I'm just trying to see. Well, anyway, we know what our yeah, we know what our choices are. So I'll think about that, and before we go, I guess that's it because we got our new stagecoach upgrades. We got our new armor upgrades, which is going to drain my money even faster. I need to start going on money-making things, which is usually long dungeons. Thinking about it, with the secret rooms, I usually get a lot of money on long dungeons. Which would mean there... I might actually go to the Weald. Thinking about it, I mean, that works, doesn't it, I think? I mean, I could send Picard as our tank. We could send could send Dema again, to be fair. He did pretty well. And then... Marl. Yeah, I, we could probably end up sending a Plague Doctor there. But I don't really know if I want one there. Yeah, we could send Picard. Another Picard. The Battle of the Picards. Seriously, though. And... We need a healer. You would need a healer. 
Can't really go without a healer. Well, you could, but I don't really want to do that. That would be a little silly in my book, but what do I know? <laughs> uh, you know what? She'd work there pretty well. Gotta send one rookie. Get some level up the rookies as we go, you know. Can't have them be all by them. their lonesomes at the bottom with nobody there to help them level up in the future, could we? All for the quick draw charm. And a buttload of money, hopefully. So that's the plan for next week. And hopefully I shall see you there. Farewell, everyone. Until then.